it better We are back. We are back. Mm -hmm. Stronger together, brother Ed Emoja. Brother Ed Emoja and back to Kathleen E. Wall. Thank you, LL. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> We're open for a guest appearance from LL Cool J. Should he like to join uh, the Stronger Together movement? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are New Yorkers. Uh, yes, yeah. yes, okay. yes, he's yes, from Queens. Are, yeah, yes. he's from New York. Queens, yeah. me, Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Like Spider Man okay. and Captain America. Yeah. Yeah. We can know. invite Jay Z too. <laughs> okay, he's Brooklyn. He's exactly. exactly. Not too far from where we grew up together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this, this segment, <laughs> we're going to get down. We're going to go a little bit south. We're going to go south. We're going to go deep south. Yes. Deep, deep, deep south. Yes. You know, um, I met this sister through her husband. Because mm -hmm. her husband, Soki Warren, mm -hmm. I met him at Michael D. Pasquale's event mm -hmm. uh, many years ago. And at a martial arts event. Martial arts event, mm -hmm. yeah. And Michael D. Pasquale was doing, a, doing an event up in upstate New York. Mm -hmm. And then he was there, and that's how we met. Mm. And then later on, he m he married Edna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we are going to talk about my uh, my nutrition, our nutritionist. nutritionist. <laughs> yes, um, she's been on the radio with me for some day one. She was on mm -hmm. ten years on the radio with me, Doctor mm -hmm. of um, Sisters in Harmony, mm -hmm. and. She has touched our lives in many ways. <laughs> yeah, touched our lives and people's lives that we know yeah. and obviously other people's lives too Yeah, in such a positive way. Edna is, by trade, she is a functional food nutritionist where she looks at the healing powers within food. And her story, her testimony is incredible because she's had three different types of cancers mm -hmm. and she's been able to heal, heal herself through food or in addition with the use of food and she mm -hmm. has been a tremendous blessing in my life because I had some health challenges a few years ago which stemmed from fibroid tumors and then having to have a surgery and my whole system shutting down and even though I have historically been a very healthy clean eater was a strict vegan for five years um, it was just, it, it, the surgery just really threw my balance. The fibroids threw my whole system off balance and my metabolism got messed up. My thyroid was messed up. My vitamin C, D, all of those levels. It was just a whole storm. As mm -hmm. one nutritionist told me, she was like, your body is just in a firestorm. So between that nutritionist, Janice Pickings, who was, is fantastic as well in conjunction with Edna really helping me identify which foods were healthy for me and good for me. We were able to put me on the right program and within six months, the 60 pounds that had came out of nowhere, it seemed like they just came overnight, <laughs> disappeared and that was amazing. And we have been trying for about seven, seven years, no, about six years. Okay. We have been trying six, seven years to get rid of the weight and through exercising, food changes and so forth. But it was not until Edna was like, put this prescription of food together for me that it made all the difference in the world. And she fell in love with asparagus then. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like asparagus, but my body has a very different <laughs> response to it. My taste buds like it, mm -hmm. but my internal system, let's just say, <laughs> one stalk is sufficient. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, Edna, you know, the, the interesting thing about Edna is that she, you know, she went to school, she has the knowledge, she has the mm -hmm. wisdom, and she's in our community. Mm -hmm. And the challenge for me when we had on the radio is getting people to understand how much she knows mm -hmm. and how she could really assist them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though we fast forward to, to now to where she has the um, sea moss with the, the oh apple sauce. Oh my goodness gracious, the saucy mossy. Sauce. See how she names <laughs> sauce? So Edna, I didn't say that, Edna, she said it. Well, we uh, talked about some names. I like saucy mossy. <laughs> yes. But, you know, but the thing is, she makes stuff functional. Yeah. And, and, and it makes and she makes it and it she it makes sense yes. when she when she tells it to you and she breaks it down she does her research and she yes. comes to and, and 
And let me just... back that up. I know some people are like, did they just say? Yes, she takes sea moss. Now, first of all, she does sea moss and she makes flavored sea moss mm-hmm. as well. So mango, strawberry, lemonade, and they taste fantastic. I mean, honestly, we can sit and you can eat them like it's jello or pudding mm-hmm. or something like that. You could take them, you could spread it on some toast if you wanted to. I mean, but they are so good by themselves. He takes it, he puts it in smoothies. Um, it's delicious. But then she turned around and made this applesauce with sea moss in it and sent us a sample. And we both. Why does she, she do that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. We both were like, that's it. That's the winner. And she makes those in different flavors as well. Regular applesauce um, and cinnamon. And then it's mm-hmm. got the nice chunks in it. Mm-hmm. And then she also made strawberry. And I think it was a peach. And I said to her, I was like, can you do this with blueberry? And next thing I know, here comes a shipment with blueberry in it. Mm-hmm. And it is just so fantastic. And you said, you know what? I think you need to put it in pouches. And next thing you know, here comes a uh, shipment uh, with pouches. pouches. And the pouch was perfect in, I forget, seven ounces, she I think. Yes, yeah, seven and five ounces. And I, I couldn't even finish the seven ounces. I could. <laughs> it was, <laughs> was so, good. It was so good, and it was so filling. Mm-hmm. But to your point, she makes it functional, yeah. whereas you actually want to eat this. Yeah. And, and, and a shout out to the, um, she gets the sea moss from mm-hmm. brother Sherwin Dukes Bryce company who wrote the Stronger Together song. Stronger Together, and mm-hmm. also Sherwin, being we are from the same place, mm-hmm. he gets the sea moss from Saint Lucia. Mm. And you know, so when we look at all this, the circle, mm-hmm. you, know, you know, that three hundred sixty degrees mm-hmm. and how everything it, everything is interconnected. Yes. So here's Edna in Florida getting some from a brother who who has a company in Saint Lucia who sends it to him and he mm-hmm. and he sells it I think retail and wholesale. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so you know we have to look at as I say as we look at the 21st century go deeper into the 21st century and now we're in 2023. Yes. How do we use all the tools that God has given us? Because yeah. you know we say this all the time everything we need we already have. Mm-hmm is accessing it, realizing that it's there for us. And yeah. I think for us, we we get our answers through prayer, yeah. you know, prayer and meditation. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, whichever way you get your answers, you get your mm-hmm. answers. But if you access what is there for you, mm-hmm. it's, it's what you, it's, you're unstoppable. Yeah. And let me say this, you know, you talked about prayer and meditation, and sometimes people have adverse reactions mm-hmm. to different words. You know, it for me, it's all about that being still and listening to that still small voice. Mm. You know, from a scripture standpoint, there is that be still and know that I am God. It's that listening to that inner whisper. Sometimes people call it their intuition. Sometimes it's called a knowing. It's knowing that this is the best answer, right? This is the correct answer. Mm -hmm. And um, I worked with some people who are Quakers Mm -hmm. many years ago, and they would talk about let the truth rise up Mm -hmm. and just learning how to just be still and be quiet and not just talk for the sake of talking. Can I ask you something? Yes. You said the Quakers. Yes. Are they just friends? The same, are they the same people as the friends and the Quakers are the same? I, I don't know. I know. I'm not from, from Pennsylvania. Right. So I'm but just yeah, usually, I mean, the Quakers are usually friend, the Society of Friends. They're okay. associated, but I don't know if okay. there's a group of people that call themselves friends. Okay. No, because I know, I, since I've been here in Philadelphia, I see they say about the friends and, and right. then I usually the Right. Usually schools that are identified as the friends mm-hmm. school, like. Um, here in Philadelphia, there's Green Street Friends, Germantown mm-hmm. Friends, mm-hmm. Plymouth Meeting Friends. Mm-hmm. Those are all Quaker okay. influence mm-hmm. schools. Yeah. This teaching, like, you know, yeah. if you're not from, if you haven't lived in Phil- the Philadelphia area mm-hmm. in Pennsylvania, mm-hmm. you hear those names. Mm-hmm. I mean, we know going back to the enslavement of our ancestors, they were big supporters of of, of the Underground freedom Railroad and, and the freedom and stuff yes. like that. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I say once again, yeah. in, looking at how we interconnect mm-hmm. them, the, the, everything's interconnected. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's one yeah. No, 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 it's all right. So go ahead. So yeah, so Edna does amazing things with food and not just not just sea moss, just food, period. Yeah. She does a lot and you know, we gotta thank her for that because, you know, we empower ourselves when we reach out to people who mm-hmm. have the knowledge mm-hmm. and and put our hands in their hands and then what we do is we share the information about global yeah. family yeah and we 
have seen that with Edna. We have seen that with Sabato Paul in mm -hmm. Uganda. He did the um, video, the video mm -hmm. from the, la the new Beanie Man song, One More Year. Mm -hmm. um, and that came because I knew Brother um, Grant. Mm -hmm. And Brother Grant asked mm -hmm. me, Roger mm -hmm. Grant, um, he asked me about them. And I put him in contact with them. Next thing you know, mm -hmm. they did a video for him. And then mm -hmm. they did a video for somebody else. So the power of of us coming together, Ujima, mm -hmm. collective work and responsibility, is very real. Mm -hmm. And so everything we need, we already have. The question mm -hmm. is how do we access it and, and when do we access it? Mm -hmm. Because it might come to you today, but you don't need it until next week. Right. So I think, you know, with Edna, Edna's been with, Edna came to me through her husband. Mm -hmm. You know, I talked to her more than I talked to her husband mm -hmm. now. But those who know her husband, Soki Harris Warren, who's an excellent martial artist, and, you know, he teaches all over the, all over the world, really. Mm -hmm. And so he, you know, when they got married, he to do, he told me what his wife was doing. I was like, oh, really? And then I started talking to her, and then she came mm -hmm. on the radio show. And she be, she joined Sisters in Harmony. Mm -hmm. She came on the radio show, mm -hmm. and she, she was with me from the very beginning to the very end of the mm -hmm. radio show. And through that, we built a great real working relationship, a mm -hmm. friend relationship. I call her my big sister. She called me her little brother. Mm -hmm. Isn't that another title. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, we look at how do we use what God has put in front of us. Yeah. You know, it might not be what you think you need, but mm -hmm. it's truly what you need at mm -hmm. that time. And when you do it, then the other stuff falls into alignment. Always. Yeah, always. You know. So yeah. thank you, Edna, for all yeah, the stuff you're doing, you, you do for the global community. Yeah. Yes. And you make my wife look even better. That's it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I get the benefits of your knowledge yeah. again. <laughs> I had to say and it that. was very, you know, it was very interesting, you know, going through, and we, we can talk about health a little bit and what that was like because that health condition came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I was very healthy, and then all of a sudden the fibroids became very prolific, and we, I guess we were together about three, three years, going on four years at that point. Mm. And having, I mean, it was a major adjustment mm. to our lives. We did a lot of traveling, a lot of working in different parts mm -hmm. of the world. And that caused us to really come to a complete stop mm -hmm. and also make a decision about whether or not we were going to have children mm -hmm. and having to work through those realities mm -hmm. um, because everything was happening so quickly. Yeah. And then we were on schedule to travel again mm -hmm. um, yes, we were. several weeks after my surgery and whether or not we were going to be able yeah. to do that. So there, there were a lot of pieces to this health journey that came out of nowhere. And when in a relationship, how that impacts everybody, because I had my own stuff going on while it was happening you had your own stuff going on while it was happening and then you had your stuff going on in regards to me and i remember mm -hmm. when you know sitting down at the dining room table <laughs> and it was like and the doctor called and she said you have less than 24 hours to make this decision because there's an opening in my schedule mm -hmm. and if you're going to do it we need to know yes you know yep I mean, you know, what I could say about that is, you know, um, when you find yourself in alignment with God, things move quickly mm -hmm. and smoothly. Yep. When you fight the alignment with mm -hmm. God, then you find challenges that you cannot overcome. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the old folks would say, that's going to knock you to your knees. Mm. And... I don't know about you, but I don't like being knocked to my knees because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not because mm -hmm. you know it's, it's because then you have to f find out why you're on your knees, how do you get up, can you get up, and mm -hmm. so forth and so on. So I just find myself as I get older is just to humble myself mm -hmm. to the movement of God, to God's wishes. And when I don't understand it, I I do. Um, you know, years ago I had the opportunity to go to Iyanla Vasant's. Um, she used to have these classes at City College at mm -hmm. Aaron Davis Hall every month. Okay. She used to come in. And one of the times she said something, she said it's a lot of great things, but she said something, she said, when you're not sure about things, just stand still and let God yep. do God. Yes. Let God be God. Mm -hmm. And I remember her saying that, this, it just clicked on me, and I still remember, and this was over 20 years ago, mm -hmm. because back in, this was back in the 90s, late mm -hmm. 90s, when she used to do this. Wow, yeah. 
and I just remember, so I was like, you know, when I find myself, when we, uh, when we have, um, when we are bumping heads, I mm -hmm. just get quiet. And she knows this. I just get quiet. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, God, I'm not going to, I'd rather be quiet and not say something, say something that's really going to damage you. You, know, mm -hmm. you can't take it back once you say it. Right. So I just rather just be quiet. Right. And just allow God to do God. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. And it always works out to them. <laughs> That's a lesson for people. Yeah, because, you know, sometimes That's a you get. Real you, lesson. I mean, for me, coming out of New York, being from the Caribbean and being hot headed and, you know, growing up in the 70s in New York, you know, high school and everything in New York, mm -hmm. it, was, it was tough. You know, we, you know, we had to deal with our fists and a lot mm -hmm. of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I came up as a fighter coming out of New York and um, being in the martial arts and my teacher calmed me down. And then like, you, you find out that there's times when, as you get older, the best action is the no action. Mm -hmm. Just be quiet. Mm -hmm. You know, and an elder said something to me, uh, who is now an answer. He said, do the, do the rocking chair test. Mm -hmm. and I said, what are you talking about rocking chair test? He told me, go 50 years into the future, mm -hmm. and you're in your rocking chair. Mm -hmm. Will it impact you then? Yeah. And so he said, if it's not going to mm -hmm. impact you then, don't let it impact you now. Just be, mm -hmm. you know, be still. And mm -hmm. let it, and it, it, will, it will sort itself out, because either the person will disappear, God mm -hmm. will get rid of the person, yeah. or the, yeah. the situation will disappear. Yeah. And you'll be able to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So I, so I, that's why. So I find mm -hmm. myself a lot of times just being quiet, you know. And you know, it, it works out for my. It works out for the. Be it works out for the good. <laughs> <laughs> and then I eat. And then I eat some of Edna's applesauce uh, and, 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 and uh, applesauce and sea moss. <laughs> that's what I want. She called what she want to call. I won't call it. And it's really good. I mean, if you always want to check out, it's Health Zone. Is her company out in Jacksonville, Florida. Well, you we, put the link underneath. Yeah, I put the link. I yeah. can put the link underneath. Put the link but you know, you could definitely check it out. She does some really great stuff. And those people who have heard me, those people who people who know me know I don't endorse anything I don't try myself. Yeah. It, I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you. Listen, I haven't tried it, but I heard this. But when I try something, I like it. I'll put it out there, and I'm going to tell you. Edna has been a lifesaver in lots of ways and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I do thank her, and I, we support her one thousand yeah. percent. Yeah. No, when you talked about the rocking chair test, I hadn't heard of it, but it's funny. I wrote something similar in the greatest soul journey so in the section under transformation one of the things i had written it said you realize you want to be proud of yourself and your actions five minutes from now five weeks from now five months from now and five years from now when situations and interactions arise you have a tendency to prefer to function out of your highest divine self so it, it's that whole it's still that same piece mm -hmm. of looking into the future and making sure what your actions are are in alignment with your highest divine self because mm. i think when you look at the when you the, 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 we can't change the past right we could affect the present is what we do mm -hmm. but the future we could actually send better things to the future mm -hmm. and that's the powerful thing i mean we could give our children the best the best mm -hmm. education the best so mm -hmm. they could be better than us in the future so we could yeah. impact the future by saying great things to the yeah. future you know i remember being in school and learning about the different stages of development and where people were socially emotionally mm -hmm. intellectually at each stage and so when they got to the later stages in life one of the concerns was they talked about the amount of depression that people experienced mm. and they said because they many people were reflecting on their life and thinking about the things that they hadn't done that they wish they had done that they didn't have the energy oh. or resources mm. or companionship to do now mm. and i said well if that's the case and i remember sitting there in class and i said to myself and even afterwards i left with the same thought where it was like if you already know that at the end of life you're going to spend time reflecting on your life then think about what it is that you want to be thinking about at the end of life and spend your life doing those things mm, that's powerful that's powerful right so mm -hmm. that's the same thing that you just said about looking into the future Right. If this, th these are stages of life, like we're all going to go through them. So if a stage of life is a period of reflection, mm -hmm. what do I want my memories to mm -hmm. be? Mm -hmm. And being very intentional and deliberate about the memories that I create. So even sitting here right now, mm -hmm. tonight, when this camera goes off, 
this will be a memory. Yeah. Right? And tomorrow in five weeks and five years from now, I'll be able to say, wow, we sat down and we did that. Mm-hmm. What a great what a great memory. Yeah. As opposed to me not holding my tongue and slicing and dicing you with it because I can. Right? That's yeah. not the memory I no. prefer to have. Yeah. That, that's very true, Doctor. Because you know, we look at those things, and you, you stop and you think about it. If I'm able to give something to someone that's mm-hmm. going to make their life better, then, right. then I have impacted the future. That's right. And you know, for me, I get that when I work my work I do in the Caribbean and mm-hmm. we do it in Africa mm-hmm. because to Paul, for Paul to call me and tell me the amount of people we have affected with what we're doing, yeah. I'm like, wait a sec, I've never even been there. And yeah. Some of these people I might never meet, right. but we have given them, we have done something that is changing mm-hmm. their lifestyle, mm-hmm. and if they're going to take it into the future and the life of their loved ones. Yeah, yeah, because even the, the school and the scholarships that we exactly. did, exactly. You know, these people, th- you know, they send you emails thanking mm-hmm. you and thanking mm-hmm. Ruby, and, you know, letters. for um, for supporting mm-hmm. the scholarship, and you know, you say, wow, we might never meet these people, but yeah. who knows what we did? Yeah, you know, if you know. Um, Chadwick Boseman said something who was honoring Denzel Washington. He said, there would be no Black Panther if it wasn't for Denzel Washington. That's right. And so Denzel didn't know that when he helped him. Right. Right? Right. But fast forward to the future, mm-hmm. and here's Chadwick playing Black Panther. Mm-hmm. He understood the reason he was able to do this opportunity because mm-hmm. Denzel supported him when he yeah. was trying to get to, his, um, yeah. to England. So we don't know what our good deeds will do, mm-hmm. but do the good deeds, knowing yeah. that good deeds will do something positive. Yeah. So, yeah. They're all seeds. Yeah, the seeds. That's why my workshop's called Greater Seeds. Yeah, okay. That's right. Well, this is Stronger Together. Stronger and Together. And this will be broken up into several pieces mm-hmm. that we're going to put out there. So, mm-hmm. you know, and hopefully what we share with you will help you in the future. Yeah. And you could share it with other people. Be who sure to th- subscribe mm-hmm. and share. Yeah. We will put it out on our YouTube channel and our Vimeo channel. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, Dr. Walt, thank you so much. Stronger thank together. Thank you so much. You Happy kinda, New Year. You look kind of good, girl. Yeah, we mm-hmm. got to go take care of Happy New Year. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is Stronger Together. That's <laughs> <laughs> Well, you see, I have I enjoy myself with my wife. I have mm-hmm. fun. We have fun together, and that's mm-hmm. what life's about. Because at the end of it all, did you enjoy yourself? That's right. Stress, just stress, stress less life, and just yes. enjoying ourselves. We do have challenges, mm-hmm. but we don't let the challenges control us. That's right. That's a big lesson. We right give it. There. We give it to God. Yeah. For me, we just I, God. Mm-hmm. I need. Hey, we got a deal here. Mm-hmm. Keep you. Keep your side of the deal. I keep mm-hmm. my side. Of the deal. <laughs> Let's go. go and keep be going. clear. Sometimes God will. You know, not sometimes. All the time. God directs you. Sometimes God may direct you to do something. God may direct someone else to do something and say something. So when we say give it to God, it's not that you throw it up with mm-hmm. no action takes place. We understand that God will direct. Well, this is faith, faith without action. Right. You, gotta, you gotta put the works in. Right. You gotta make you gotta, you gotta have that works in. Mm-hmm. You gotta work. You know, you gotta roll your sleeve up. You know, I'm the son, grandson of a farmer, so mm-hmm. I do understand faith. When mm-hmm. a farmer puts a seed in the ground and have faith yes. that it's going to grow and that's give you right. something. So, yeah, you yeah, understand. Goodness that. knows, I know that with my avocado. <laughs> that's a story for another day, y'all. Yes. All right. Okay, family, thank you so much. God bless. Enjoy God 2023, bless. and we will be doing more stronger together in the new year yes. and beyond. Continue to live your greatest life. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Stronger together through the stormy weather. Stronger together through the stormy weather. Stronger together we can make it better. Stronger together we can make it better. Stronger together through the stormy weather. Stronger together through the stormy weather. Stronger together we can make it better. Over, over, let's take the world over. Over, let's take the world over. Over with love. Na 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 na. Over. Out of control Don't know your end from beginning You're losing touch with your soul When you find yourself in a sticky situation Just pray Breathe, meditate Focus on your day You see me? I believe in my people The power of my people People, yeah 
you see we We can move mountains, we part the oceans and sea If you just believe We can take the world over, over, let's take the world over, over.